do, 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 do. Put in all the stuff around so it looks like I've got a lot of stuff. Thumbnail! Hi everyone, it's me, April, and today I've got for you an uh, art haul. An art haul, well, a little art haul, it's actually quite a big one. Uh, not as big as, <laughs> not as big as some I've seen online, but still pretty big. So I was in Sarah Dyer's uh, patron session and someone mentioned that Jackson's Art was having a coloured pencil sale. So I hopped on over because there was one pencil that I really wanted to get a replacement of, which was the Indothrenone Quinone Blue. I'm not quite sure of the name and also I don't know where the pencil is. <laughs> But I really wanted this replacement of this pencil because my pencil was like this big. So they didn't have it in stock, which was annoying. But while I was online, I thought I'd treat myself to a few pencils because I've been wanting to try some pastel pencils for a while. You can never have too many Caran d'Ache luminance pencils. And also, I did mention this on our live stream a while ago that I went on Jackson's Art a couple of weeks ago and I was meant to get another blue Neo color because I'm trying to find the perfect blue and I forgot to get them. So at the same time I got them and I got a couple of other colors. I also got some inks because I've been super into inks lately and I don't have any muted inks really that I can use with my bamboo dip pen. So I got a couple of those. And then the big purchase was the Golden So Flat paints, which I wanted to try for a couple of months now. They're expensive, so I haven't, but I just thought I would just treat myself. <laughs> now, I, okay, the thing is, I did say I wasn't gonna buy any, I was putting myself in a spending ban for the rest of the year, um, apart from if I needed replacements. And obviously I haven't stuck to that unless we say, it was for the rest of the school year, which technically, you know, the school year starts again in September. And hey, it's September. Now, am I in school? Maybe, if you consider the school of life a school. So I think, I think this is fine. This is fine, guys. Also, I actually got a payment from Twitch. I used to do Twitch. Um, now I'm on YouTube, I do live streams on YouTube. And I was on Twitch for almost an entire year and I finally saved, I finally got enough money for them to send me a payment of 60 pounds. So uh, that basically all went towards this. Anyway, now that I have defended myself, because I feel like I should, because I keep saying I'm not gonna buy any more and I do, um, let's move on. And this has a little bit of ink from the other side, but I'm just gonna use it for swatching. I think it'll be okay. Oh, what should we start with first? I think we should start with the Neo Colors because I'm really curious about these blues. So this is my current blue collection of Neo, of Neo Colors. I don't have many. I have this turquoise blue, which is a nice one, but very vibrant. I have this one here, which I've lost the lid of. So I've lost the, the number. So I may have purchased it again, who knows? This dark blue, which I think is Prussian blue, I think it says on here somewhere, but I've, yeah, I've torn the number off, so I'm not sure. I think that's the same color as that it is. And then I have this very pale cobalt blue, which I actually wanted to get a replacement of and I forgot because that's all I have left, but it's fine. So I wanted to find a nice blue that was kind of in between light cobalt blue and turquoise blue. It was a little bit more muted, but it kind of had more more blue, more um, red in it rather than the turquoise, which is very green. Something for the sky. So I ended up getting these four. This one looks purple. This one's very dark and it also looks purple. This this one's called blue indigo, so probably does have a bit of purple in there. This one is cobalt blue, which is very. Is that the same? Have I brought the same color? I have. Okay, well I bought the same color, which is fine, because that's all I have left of it. So that's, this is just a replacement. And then I have this one here, which is like a, almost like a lilac. I, I don't, I mean, it is blue. I wouldn't call it a true blue though. It's got, it seems a bit purpley to me. This one I'm resting all my hopes on. <laughs> it's a uh, light blue. Let's see what this one's like. And yes, that one is the blue, the blue I've been looking for. 
So yeah, I'm happy with that. And it's always nice. I've been going through a bit of a blue phase right now. I think all the great artists have, you know, didn't Picasso go through a blue phase? Or was it Van Gogh? Oh, one of them, I don't know. So yeah, I'm going through my blue phase right now and I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm loving life right now. Um, some other colors that I got were a couple of grays. I do enjoy a good gray. This one's silver gray. That one's a nice one. Cause I, oh, I have a few grays, but they're all very warm. This one's beige, which I believe I have. I'm pretty sure I checked. I thought I had checked them before I purchased, but nope. All right, so I have a beige. Uh, this is so funny though. Look, I don't know if you can see that. The colors of the wrappers are very slightly different. Okay, so look, I got two replacements. I put these in my, I've got a replacement box that I put all my replacements in. This one here is a brown. I don't have many browns, I don't really use them. But I have been kind of wanting to get a couple more just in case, because they're coming into autumn now. So that's a bronze. And this one is very lovely red, reddish earth color. That one is Sien, burnt sienna. It says on the top here, Cien Brulee, which sounds delicious, but no, it's burnt sienna. Not, it's not a dessert. So these are my beautiful Neo colors. And I will also make sure I write down all these colors in the description. I don't often do that because I'm lazy, but I figured I would just to help, just in case you want any of these colors. Next up, I got some Caran d'Ache luminance pencils i actually bought this one this one this one this one and this one on a separate order um a few weeks ago when i got some matte medium for my paints i just picked these up on a whim wish i'd waited because the, they weren't on special when i got them but i thought i would show you them all together because i haven't actually really used these yet so i thought i would show you them there are some very bright colors in here i um, i do tend to go towards more muted colors and these are super, super bright. So I'm looking forward to using them in my work. I really like, I really wanted to get some more autumn colors as we are heading into the best season. So let's see what I got. I think I pretty much almost have the entire collection now. I think there's probably like maybe six or seven that I don't have, but I have been buying them slowly over the last, I'd say two, maybe a year and a half, two years. So I'm okay. I'm not. I think it's nice to do that rather than get a whole set at once. It's exciting, you know? This one's raw umber, that's a nice one. This one here, I think is, I've used it. Yeah, this is one of the ones I got a couple of weeks ago. It's really nice. I have a few colors that are like this. The, I find the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils have the best, like so much, such nice muted colors. This one's Warm Earth 5. This next one is Herculaneum red. I think you probably could say that a bit better, but I'm not very good at the talking. Herculaneum red. And then we have a nice orange here called Cornelian. I do love the names of the Caran d'Ache. They've got cool names. This red i kind of wanted a red that was very red because i have reds that are kind of more pinky or more orangey but this one does seem to be quite a red red fire engine red this one's called permanent red then i got a pink that's a bit like a lilac because i don't have a pink that's like this i had a more kind of blush pinks or coral pinks this one is ultramarine pink then the next one is Beryl Green. I probably didn't need this, but I have a plant. If anyone's been watching my YouTube videos for a while, um, I have a plant called Beryl. It's the very first plant I bought as an adult about, I don't know, I don't know how many years ago. I, I mean, that I felt like I was an adult because I was buying a plant. I was probably in my mid twenties. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've had it for a long time and it's my favorite plant and it's like my office assistant and I love her. So I had to get Beryl Green. And it's an interesting color. I don't know how much I'll use it. It's very, very vibrant. This one here is spring green and it's almost like a luminous lime green. 
And then the last one is Slate Grey, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Paints Grey, but different. <laughs> Those are all of my Caran Dash. So next up, I've got some pastel pencils. Now, I'm still kind of on the fence about pastels. I wasn't even sure if I should have gotten these. I do have... I do have some pastels that I got a while ago and I have been using them but I am struggling to find out how they'll fit into my work but they are super fun to use and I've heard that the pastel pencils are really nice too because they're not as messy and they look like you can get a little bit of finer detail so I'll, I'll put them on this paper now but I think the real test will come when I'm trying to do like mixed media work all right they are so scratchy <laughs> And they do work just like a pastel, surprisingly. So you can give them a good old rub. I wonder if you can mix these ones with water. Let's have a look. So yeah, it looks like they kind of dissolve in water. Oh, um, I forgot the name, sorry. That one, this, these are all Derwent pastel pencils. This one's pale pink. What a lovely colour. And then I had to get this one to match, like, to kind of go with it. This one is magenta, and look how gorgeous that colour is. So yeah, you, they kind of, do kind of go with um, water, that's cool. Uh, next up, we'll try and keep it in the colour family, Burnt Ochre. That's a really lovely colour. I kind of went for a pink, blue, complementary colour kind of deal. So I got quite a few pinks and quite a few blues. Like obviously ochre is more yellow, but still kind of in the red family, I guess. Look at me knowing all about art materials. Uh, I also got a very, very pale colour, pale olive. I thought this might be nice to go over some darker paints. I wonder if they go over near colours. That's, that's a negative. They do not go over near colours. It's a nice colour though. I definitely want to learn how to use the, the um, pastels better. I think I just need to, it just needs time. All right, and then I got three blues. So they kind of look all very similar here. I'm hoping that they aren't super similar, but this was cornflower blue, which is really lovely. It's like the perfect muted blue. That's really nice. And then next up is cyan which is very different, so I'm happy with that. And the last one is Kingfisher Blue, which is quite similar in the hue, but the, it's a bit darker. So yeah, I'm happy with those. Not, it would be nice to get a really pale blue, like, a, like this color, but in blue, like, you know, super pastel -y. a super pastel pastel. Yeah, and they work really nicely with water too, which is nice. So those are the pastels, really lovely. I love that magenta, that's a lovely color. I do have to be careful though, cause these Derwent, look, these Derwent are basically the same, but they have silver and this one has gold. This is a Derwent drawing pencil. Why do all the pencils look the same? All right, let's look at the inks next. So I got two, uh, they're actually, um, watercolor but they were under the ink section so I think they're like um, watercolor <laughs> watercolor inks they're PH Martins Hydras I haven't tried these before I do have a lot of PH Martins and I do like them but I was hoping to get a more muted color because I really want to start like I, I really love using my bamboo dip pen which is this here I have a few sizes I really like using it with the inks and I want to try and use it more mixed media but all of the colors are so bright and this look how dark this is that's so pretty and because it's 
I mean, you could obviously make it water, like mix it with water like this. Whoa, that is so much darker than I thought. I thought it was going to be super, super pale, but that is extremely dark. Um, I wonder if you could mix this with water. Let's do a little experiment. Okay, so this is very dirty <laughs> um, little glass. I've got a bit of dried acrylic paint in. I pop some water in and I'll do like one drop. And we'll just, I know that there's, just ignore the fact, oh, you know what? This isn't going to work because it's going to be too watery, isn't it? Like the bamboo pen won't like it because it, it won't have anything to cling to. Um, so yeah, maybe this won't work. Maybe it'll only work if, I mean, it still kind of works. You can kind of use it with the water. It's kind of cool. I'll just throw some of this water away. So there's only like a little bit in there now. Then I'll pop a couple more drops in. I don't want to waste the ink, but also experiments are very important. Okay, so mixy mix. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, you can kind of dilute it a little bit. So it's not so, so dark. That's really cool. Oh, I love it. I really like this color. Okay, so that one is the sepia. And then I also got a Payne's Gray. And I think this one's gonna be super, super dark. Yes, it is. I mean, it's really nice just to use like this. I wonder if I dip my pen into, okay, dips, dip my pen into my water jug. And that also might dilute it a little bit. Oh, look at that, isn't that cool? going off the page a little bit and then what does this look like with some water I bet it's so pretty oh, that's so nice look at that beautiful color it's such um yeah it's a really lovely muted color compared to the other ph martins that I have it's really nice I like those colors a lot So yeah, very happy with those. Have to figure out a way to dilute them the right consistency of water to ink to get like the color I like. Because I think it would be nice to have a color like this, but that you could dip your bamboo dip pen or another dip pen into. Cool. And now we move on to the main attraction the um, golden so flat matte so there were a few colors that I really liked I'd actually added them to my wish list I added about three colors and I realized that all three colors were in this zing set which I was quite tempted to get last time uh, they have they're very quite bright colors but I saw someone using them on YouTube and she was mixing them with white and they went into some beautiful pastels they do have another set called pop and that one has like more traditional uh, red, red, blue, green, yellow, black, white. But I, I'm not a huge fan of mixing my colors. Like I don't mind mixing, but I'd rather start with colors that I like. And I don't really like the traditional red, green, red, green, yellow, blue. So I went with Zing and they have six colors. For the price of these, I honestly thought they'd be about three times as big, but um, I mean, golden, I think, are expensive, so you, I guess you just, you know, get what you pay for. I also got a titanium white to mix with them and a Payne's grey, just something dark, and I thought we could um, mix them with the colours to kind of make them a bit darker, but it's not a black, so it's not going to be uh, completely muddy, I guess. So the colours that are in this, the Zing set are Cobalt Teal. Nap, nap, napthal pink, napthal pink, that's a mouthful. Red violet, yellow green, bismuth vanadate yellow, and cadmium orange. So the reason I wanted to try these is because I've been getting more into acrylics 
and I really would like to paint more in acrylics but I find them really glossy and I did get some matte medium and even the matte medium like it didn't really make it as matte as I would have liked so I think I've heard that these are kind of similar to Holbein acrylic gouache but obviously they're acrylics so I think that means <laughs> I don't know what I don't really know what the difference is to be honest um like I understand that acrylics and acrylic gouache are different but I was just trying to think about it and I think maybe these would be just from the very first impressions definitely a lot um fluid more fluid and they're not in I find the the Holbein acrylic gouache really difficult sometimes after you haven't used them for a while I find they get a little bit especially near the tube the top of the tube they get very dry and crusty and then some of that stuff gets into gets into the paint it's not very nice okay this one here is naphthol pink and that is a lovely color so I saw someone I'll try and pop the video of who I was watching and they were swatching out all the colors and they were also mixing them with white and just the like it was so so many beautiful pastel colors as you got like mixing more and more with white and I think if you mix these together that'd be nice I think I might do that another day I won't do that for this video because I just wanted to be a really quick just kind of showing um and also swatching them out because I don't have time I don't have time today to do a lot of tests but I definitely will pop that into maybe my September vlog <laughs> so messy I'm getting I'm getting paint everywhere um yeah maybe I'll do like a nice oh jeez oh that hurt I'll do a nice little color swatch um mixing chart over the weekend and I'll pop that into my September vlog which will be out probably the first week in October right this one is gorgeous this was cadmium cadmium orange yeah oh such a beautiful orange and I'm trying to save all this paint <laughs> it was so expensive I think it's like um I think it was it's between about eight pound and 14 pound for a tube I guess depended on the pigment and uh the zing set was 50 pound so if you work it out, it's actually, I think it was like seven pound a jar. So it was a little bit cheaper than if you were to buy it all together. The pop set was only 42 pound. I think that's probably because it was just the primaries. All right, this one here is the, the yellow, obviously, but the name of it is a very strange name, Bismuth Vanadate Yellow. Look how vibrant they are, aren't they lovely? Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. So this is the only color that I don't think I'll use much because it's purple. <laughs> but maybe I'll use it for mixing. I'm not really a huge purple fan. I'm not a huge purple fan, but I think this might be nice to mix in or like mute other tones. And this one's called Red Violet. And then the last of the Zing set is the yellow green. I do like these little pots actually, I think they're quite fun. This is a cool color. I've always liked this color in the Holbein acrylic wash. I think it's called lime, lime green. I've always loved this color. But yeah, so far they're very fluid and very smooth. I wonder how how much one pot would fill like if I was to take one of these tiny pots and paint a surface until it ran out I wonder how big the surface would be and then I'll just do this one I won't do the white this one's pain gray Payne's gray oh I wanted kind of like a very very dark color that I could use for mixing but that wasn't black and I think Payne's gray is going to be nice it's got obvious it's got like a blue undertone so I think maybe if I mix it with things it would give it like a colder colder tone maybe I'm not sure we'll have to have a play
And then we have the white, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to swatch because it's literally white, but I will see if I can pop a little bit under each one and we'll just mix stuff on the page for each of the colors because um, none of my palettes are clean right now. And yeah, I only have about another 10 minutes before I have to stop recording. I'm gonna try and be very frugal and just use, oops, just use these. <laughs> so see if we can scrape the last of the paint off and mix it in with the white. And I don't know how much white percentage it is in, unless I do a proper chart, but it's just kind of to show you the pastelliness of it. And obviously we could do it again with the paint gray and see the darker. I would like to do that. Um, I would definitely be doing it over the weekend. And I'll, I'll make sure I film it too. So if you are interested in getting this set, you can kind of see all the different colors before you purchase. Do you guys have a mix on the page? I'm just so lazy with palettes. Like I never clean my palettes ever. All right, here we go. This one is gonna be so nice, I've got a feeling. Yeah, I definitely think probably more white would make it a lot more pastel-y. These kind of look very similar at the moment, don't they? I'll wait for this to dry completely and then I'll do a close up so you can see how, how matte they are. And then maybe also I'll pop a little bit of pencil over the top so we can see how pencil goes over them and also how Neo color. And maybe even the pastel pencils would be a good, would be a good test. You don't even want to see what my desk looks like right now. It's an absolute massacre over there. Right, I've just mixed a tiny amount of this purple. I'll do a little bit more. See, I quite like it when it's pastel-y. Just not a big fan of the very, very deep purple. Dripping water everywhere. So, so messy. This green's really lovely, pastel -y. That was the Zing set of the Golden uh, So Flat Matte and a paint gray. Oh, and white. I'm gonna try and use the a very um, light and a, and a dark pastel. And I'm gonna use the same, a light and a dark Neo color. And then a, where's my pencils? I like a light and a dark pencil too. So a bit of a random color mix, but this is just to test them. All right, first up the pastels. I've got a good feeling about these. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. They, apart from the scratchy sound, which is, it's not my favorite sound in the world. Um, apart from that, they go over really nicely onto the mat. And then pencils. Oh, that's the same one. All right, um, this one is Neo Color. Yep, I mean, I, honestly, I'm not surprised. They're just kind of like acrylic gouache, and acrylic gouache is, takes all mediums very, very well. So we got the Neo Color, which will basically go over anything. <laughs> but it's nice to test it out anyway. Very cool. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I think I have to do another like um, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do one painting just using these and one painting just using acrylic gouache and then we can kind of test those two see how very similar they are or dissimilar and I also do the same with these guys and then also some acrylics which I can't show you right now because I dropped the entire box on the floor earlier so I gotta pick them all up but yeah maybe we can do a so flat acrylic versus a um, and shiny like a normal acrylic and I think that'll be really great so just show you quickly how all the pencils went over the over the paint and it's really lovely and that was my very quick art haul I hope that you enjoyed it 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put all of the can, can you remember remember how tidy it was at the start of the video I'm gonna pop all of this out like this and maybe I can do a thumbnail because it's actually quite fun like this rather than being like really tidy <laughs> maybe we'll just pop some pencils in there like this oh it's perfect all right cool so uh, that's this was my this was just another art haul yeah I think I'm good now for art supplies until until I see something on YouTube that I like but uh, let me know what your favorite art supplies right now what have you seen that you've just gone straight out and bought to treat yourself uh, I'd be very curious so I hope that you enjoyed that and I will catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye